before. It's not in my backyard or in my garden. But today we are going to read a story called Daisy, a bunch of daisies. So let's get started. Daisy, a bunch of daisies. Crunchy Queen, can I have a biscuit? Asked Daisy, picking up the biscuit king. Pardon, said Daisy's mom. Please, can I have a biscuit? Asked Daisy, pulling off the lid. You can have one, said Daisy's mom, looking under the cushions on the sofa. You don't want to spoil your appetite. Daisy peered inside the biscuit tin. It was full to the top of the with biscuits, but the biscuit Daisy wanted was buried out of sight. She had seen it there the night before when her mom was refilling the tin. So, in this picture, you can see Daisy. She's opening the lid, and she, I don't know which kind of crunchy cream she wants. Hmm, let me think. Maybe she wants the orange and yellow one. I guess. We'll see. Have you seen the car keys, Daisy? Asked her mom, poking her hands down the back of the sofa. I can't find them anywhere. No, said Daisy, pushing her fingers deep into the biscuit tin to find the crunch cream. Don't put your fingers through the biscuits, Daisy. Said her mom, emptying out her handbag. If you want a biscuit, take one from the top. Daisy pulled her fingers out of the biscuits and said, "She didn't want the biscuit from the top. She wanted the crunchy cream on the bottom." So, so look at this picture. I know Mom was looking for the car keys. Maybe the car keys are in the car or in the biscuit tin. I guess. Maybe I can shake the crunchy cream to the top for Daisy, replacing the lid and giving the biscuit tin a good shake. Don't shake them; you'll break them," said her mom, rummaging through the coat pockets in the hallway. Maybe you can reach. Maybe I can reach the crunchy cream to the top for Daisy, closing her eyes and hugging the biscuit tin tightly. She opened her eyes, removed the lid, and peered inside the tin. The crunchy cream was still buried. So, what is peered? Peered means you just look at the picture. Oh no no no! Just like Daisy, she looks into the deep, 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 deep down into the biscuit tin. And look at this. She's shaking it. Maybe I can washing machine look. Crunchy cream to the top for Daisy walking into the kitchen and placing the biscuit tin on top of the washing machine. She washed at the washing machine, wobbled and vibrated its way for a spin cycle before coming to a shadowy, jewelry stop. Daisy picked up the biscuit tin and looked inside. There was still no sign of the crunchy cream. Are you sure you haven't seen the car keys, Daisy? Asked her mom, looking down at the back of the microwave. Daisy shook her head and stared into the biscuit tin. She had completely run out of ideas. So, in the first picture and second picture, mom is looking for the car keys, but in the third picture, she's checking inside her pockets. But in this picture. She's going to look inside for the biscuit tin, I guess. Oh yes, I was right that Daisy is going to eat this crunchy cream. Daisy's mom had one lot of ideas too. Come on, Daisy, think, she said. Think where the car keys might be. Daisy put the biscuit tin down on the kitchen table and fought. She fought and fought her way hardest and then smiled. I think I know where I might have seen them," she said. "Well," asked her mom. "In the biscuit tin," said Daisy. "Oh yes, I was right," she said. "It was in the biscuit tin." Daisy's mom snatched up the biscuit tin and tipped all the biscuits out onto the table. So here she is. 
She is keeping all the crunchy cream biscuits under the table. No, they're not in here," said Daisy's mom. Mmm, but the crunchy cream is munched, Daisy. So what is munch? Munch means you crunch. So what is the difference between crunch and munch? Munch is the difference. Colors I've invented: pillow, pink with yellow; glue, green with blue; willow, red with yellow; bleak. Black with pink, bread, brown with red, bling, black with green, boggy pop, black, orange, green, yellow, purple, and a bit more orange and some pink. So here you can see Daisy. She's painting herself. Oh, look at this. She is a. She's not afraid that she'll get dirty. What? What? Fop teas. Daisy has fop teas. Now, all the time, just here and there, now and then, when her mom asked her to pick her clothes up off the bedroom floor, Daisy's eyes went all foppy, and she couldn't pick anything at all. So here she is. She can't pick the clothes. When her mom asked her to help unpack the shopping, Daisy's waist went all foppy, and she couldn't even pick up a yogurt pot. So what is waist? Which means here you put the watch here. When her mom asked her to put her empty quiz packet in a waste paper basket, Daisy's bottom went so floppy she couldn't even get up off the sofa. So here she is. She's rubbing her tummy. What? What? Now that it was time for Daisy to go to bed. Her legs had gone so floppy that she couldn't even climb up the first step. I hope floppiness isn't catching," smiled Daisy's mom, carrying Daisy up the stairs. "Please will read me a bedtime story," asked Daisy, flopping into bed. "Okay," said her mom, taking a book down from the shelf. "Once upon a flop, the flopper flop flopper flop flop." I'm sorry, Daisy," said Mom. "My tongue has gone all floppy. I can't possibly read you a story with floppy teeth. Can I have a good night kiss?" asked Daisy. "It will have to be a floppy one," said Daisy's mom. So here she is. Daisy's mom is kissing Daisy on the forehead. The next morning, Daisy went out to play in her garden. When her ball went over the wall, she asked her neighbor if she could please throw it back. "I'm sorry, Daisy," said her neighbor. "My fingers have gone all floppy. I must have floppy teeth. I can't possibly throw your ball back." That afternoon, Daisy's granddad took her to the park. "Will you push me on the swings, please, granddad?" asked Daisy. "I'm sorry, Daisy," said her granddad. My arms have gone all floppy. I must have floppy teeth too. I can't possibly push you on the swings. When Daisy got home, she flopped out onto a chair in the kitchen. She thought about things for a few moments, then sat up straight. Mom, she said, my flops have stopped. I haven't got floppy teeth anymore. Daisy's mom smiled and handed Daisy a pen and paper. That's good news, Daisy. Now you can finally write your birthday thank you letters. Daisy flopped onto the floor. My floppy disk has just come back. She groaned. No, floppy disk can't come back. Animals from underneath. Can you guess what animals these are? Number one, bird. Number two, pig. Number three, cow. Number four, tortoise. Number five, crocodile. Number six, snail. Number seven, snake. Number eight, elephant. Number nine, fish. Number ten, daisy. No way! I know a secret," said Daisy to her best friend Gabby. "Tell me it," said the Gabby. "No way!" said Daisy. 
Please tell me, said Gabby, not for all the treasure in all the treasure chests on all the treasure islands in the world, said Daisy. Please tell me, said Gabby, not for all the snowballs in all the snow on all the mountain tops in the world, said Daisy. Please tell me, said Gabby, not for all the shell sand and beaches at all the seasides in the world, said Daisy. Please, please tell me, said Gabby, not for all the white rabbits in all the black hats on all the magicians' heads in the world, said Daisy. Please, please, please tell me, said Gabby, not for all the squirty stream in all the crown's pockets in all the circuses in the world, said Daisy. Tell me, tell me, tell me, said Gabby. No way, no way, no way, said Daisy. If you tell me, I'll give you a piece of my chewing gum, said Gabby. Okay, said Daisy. Gabby handed Daisy a piece of her chewing gum and waited while Daisy chewed. And chewed and chewed and chewed. Well, said Gabby impatiently, tell me a secret. What is impatient? Impatient means that you are not patient. Daisy stopped chewing and lowered her voice. Well, Jamie says that Jack says that Elia says that Noah says that Jasmine says that Ben says that Connor says that John Jordan says that Hannah is getting a guinea pig for her birthday. Give me my chewing gum back," said Gabby, stomping her foot crossly. "Why?" asked Daisy in mid chew. "I told Jordan in the first place." So he said, "Gabby." So here you can see Gabby is stomping her feet. She's angry, doesn't she? She just said she just told Jordan in the first place. Daisy's guide to puddles. Puddles happen when it rains. The more it rains, the deeper the puddles. The best puddles are deep puddles, but not but not too deep puddles. So look at Daisy. She's sinking. Puddles are for splashing in. The higher you jump, the bigger the splash. Splash! If you don't want to get your socks wet, well, wear this. If you do want to get your socks wet, well, wear this. Puddles aren't always wet. Sometimes they are frozen, and it's made cold. The wet turns into ice. So when the puddles are wet. They will turn into a solid block of ice. You can crunch the ice with your feet. The harder you stomp, the bigger the crunch. Crunch! If your ice is very thick, you can do skits. So what is skits? Skits means like this. All puddles are great. Well, you need all puddles. What not in what sense? The one out with the rubbish in it is a skip. The ocean on that bike is a park. The ocean on that house is called a sada dish. Sada dish is this. Sada dish means you have a sada dish. The thingy on that car is a car fan. The two dots on the road are traffic cones. The washrooms in that field are called hay bales. The thinking on that sign is in Apex. The one our mom is paying with is a credit card. The watch name that we are driving through is an electric fence. Electric means that it has electricity. The watch name over there is a Jaguar. The thinking on our car is a baboon. So what is a baboon? A baboon is a kind of is a kind of monkey. A primate. The watch name that he's pointing off is our Ariel. The watch says he's chewing on our windscreen wipers. So what is chewing? Chewing is like this, like this. The words that Mom is saying are unpredictable. Bubbles. I like blowing bubbles. Can you find my mouse, my bracelet, my snowman, my room, my funny face? My Tyrannosaurus Rex, riding a bicycle. Oh no, he's just pop. So what is pop? Pop means like this. Pop. So what is Tyrannosaurus Rex? 
Tyrannosaurus Rex is a kind of dinosaur, also called King of the Dinosaurs, and also called T-Rex. See you in the next Daisy book. So guys, do you like this a bunch of daisies of this book? Well, I do. I like this book because it's fun and funny. So, if you like this book, you will like, share and subscribe on the, my YouTube channel for the other Daisy books on Daisy and the Trouble with Piggy Dance, Daisy and the Trouble with Giants, Daisy, eat your peas, and Daisy, Tigerace. Thank you.